Now, it's a lot of work to set this up because I want to dynamically load this code, not defer the loading of the call. I don't even want it to be shipped to the browser until I request it. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I'm so stressed. It's so much to write. Okay, I'm done. That's the whole thing. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so this is everything that came. Got a couple of chunks that came, platform browser. I don't see any data. Wait, it was called posts. No data for posts. So I'm gonna clear this, not refresh, clear it. I'm gonna click load posts. Look at the order of operation. So that's evidence to you that we did not ship this code. It did not go to with the initial browser bundle. So here's our data, here's our chunk. This is like the code that gets written by our compiler, you know, as it compiles it so it can be optimized. There's our fetch call to go get our data. This isn't really pre-optimized. This is just making your app better, right? You just throw the defer on there. I didn't do nothing, I just type defer. And I think this is a really good idea. And I do think that we'll see even more adoption of this pattern where you can just block out parts of your application. Just choose any part you want and just start wrapping it in defer. You start having a good old time.